Hi, this is Pat Moorhead and the 6.5 is live in Barcelona, Spain. We're in the Marvell Technology booth here. Daniel, I don't know about you, but the energy is up this year. We're not wearing masks. I mean, there has to be more people at the show. What do you think? It's feeling like there's a lot of energy. The floor is full. And by the way, it's not even open yet. We are early ahead of the show. <laughs> by the way, as I was marching in to the, uh, the, the Gran Fira, I believe yeah. they call it here, um, you could just see the line was forming, people are coming in, the energy's everywhere. This is a huge show every single year, Pat, and I'm glad that it's feeling more normal yeah. again. Well, it is amazing how even the show has transformed uh, 10 years ago. It seemed to be like a show of devices. And now it really is about the transformation of carriers, uh, about enterprise networks, and that just happens to be one of our topics today. Let's introduce our guests here. Absolutely, let's do it. Ari and Regib, how are you doing? Good, good. Good. Great. Good morning. Congratulations on your uh, your big tie up yesterday. Dan and I were in the uh, in the audience cheering uh, all of all of you on. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you were there at the at the Nokia event, and the minute they talked about the uh, anywhere the RAN <laughs> product, we're like, that's Marvell. I know. We oh, we literally okay, so. we were like, that's we think Mar that's Marvell. By the way, right? the, the Nokia, the new logo, the Any RAN logo, sitting right behind uh, Rajiv and Ari's head back there. So let's get started, Rajiv. Talk a little bit about the big announcements you're going to make here at NWC. Yeah, so we announced the uh, Octeon Fusion um, 10 fu family, which is a part of Octeon 10 family 5 nanometer product. Uh, this is the product which is optimized for power, performance, and latency. Um, this product has a specialized hardware acceleration for uh, L1 processing, as well as L2 processing and radio processing. So the same product goes into the traditional RAN DU, uh, as well as, uh, the, you know, we ran as well as as radio. With a combination of uh, Octeon 10 and Octeon uh, Fusion family, uh, we can uh, serve all the needs of 5D. Um, uh, Dell and Samsung has announced solution, uh, announced uh, adopting this solution, as well as uh, the same technology goes into Nokia ReefShark uh, solution as well. And it's no coincidence that Ari, you're sitting here too. You had a couple big announcements uh, related uh, yesterday as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the new brand, but okay, let's not go there. <laughs> Any run. That's the topic of the today, really. And uh, we have a great partnership here with Marvel on that one. Like as you said, we have the uh, L1 acceleration. Uh, we have developed together the Reef Shark uh, L1 SOC for that one. And then we have the other partners, the web scalers, the server makers, Google Cloud, AWS, Microsoft Azure, HPE, the IBM. So we, we really want to make any run, the cloud run, uh, as we now know it as anyone to work with everybody's solution. That's where the name comes from. Yeah, I've been to a lot of Nokia events and it was really a, a breakthrough when I, and uh, one of y'all were going through the specifications and you know the 1.2 terabit and I was like, for sure I know uh, where that's coming from. But it, it seems like the two of you have a really solid collaboration. You have your organic innovation, uh, Marvell is is helping in in a lot of different ways, whether it's Reef Shark or some of the new uh, technologies you have. Absolutely, yeah. That's like a long term partnership we have, and this uh, the newest thing. <laughs> so. so Rajib, um, you know Marvell's strategy really revolves around optimization. Um, you know, you've been focusing a lot on, you know, trying to drive, uh, you know, cloud optimized silicon. Um, talk a little bit about how all the announcements here relate to what, you know, that part of your strategy. So yeah, definitely, that's a very good question. So Marvel has always has had a strategy to, to bring the optimized solution to the market. And one of the key component of that is to provide a solution which is, which is addressing the needs, performance need with the growing data infrastructure and bringing that at the, at the, in, within the power envelope and with the efficiency. Um, as well as the latency is, new, is needed, right? And and this is where um, this product that we announced is is servicing the similar uh, optimized solution for 5G network, just like we have optimized solution for cloud and other infrastructure. Now, this strategy of Marvel, we adapted, uh, uh, keeping in mind that the industry needs 
uh, more and more solution uh, which is optimized using hardware acceleration. You can do the same thing with a brute force by doing in a software, but in reality, you can get the performance and the power efficiency. And that is why we believe in optimized solution. And this is where we also work closely with Nokia to bring optimized solution uh, for any RAN. So, so that's, that's our overall strategy. And maybe we can talk some specifics. And I mean, ever since the first processor came out, pretty much people knew, hey, you, you, to get the most optimal performance per watt in any function, there is some burden that you do put, put on the software. But if you're looking for 50, 80% of whatever acceleration, it's worth it, particularly now since the uh, decline of, of Moore's law. Uh, and, and I, I give Marvell a lot of credit for that. It took years and years. An a acquisition may have been involved uh, uh, in that as well. But uh, let's talk specific, Ari. How does um, like this accelerated computing or optimized computing help out in the RAM? We cannot make it commercially viable without it. <laughs> okay, that's that, very that's specific. How, yeah, Thank you. That's how serious it is. I mean, yeah. it, it's, it's just, uh, I couldn't sell. Cloud run without acceleration. So it just wouldn't be able to do no. what it needed to do yeah. in the form factor and power. The power consumption would be yeah. too, mid, too much. Uh, we would not be able to support uh, enough uh, <clears throat> number of cells, number of subscribers uh, per kind of competitive uh, amount of hardware. Right. It just doesn't work without it. Yeah. And one of the things I would like to add, one of the key feature is to bring feature parity from traditional RAN to the VRAN, right? And that is an angle which is keeping in the power envelope, it is almost impossible to get the performance or all those features right. with in the, in the same uh, power envelope solution. And this is where I believe where uh, Nokia and RAN actually is demonstrating the feature parity between both solutions. Yeah, fundamentally important. Feature parity and performance parity because we have now the same chip in the bare metal as we have in any run. Well, that's hard to do because anything that's virtual, you would think is less performant or less efficient than non-virtualized. But, but the two of you together have been able to kind of pull off something that's, that's, that's super hard to do. Yeah. I think that should be the prerequisite. You do not want to give up on your feature or performance just because you want operational kind of ease of operation and, and management, right? So yeah. that is where we focus to bring this optimized solution uh, with hardware acceleration to get the feature parity and the performance. So, so let's double click a little <clears> bit on that. You know, obviously we've talked quite a bit about the Nokia and Marvell partnership and Marvell's sort of strategy to advance the open RAM. Dig, dig into that a little bit more. How is Marvell philosophically working to drive that with Nokia, but beyond and just overall be a bigger contributor to the advancing Open RAN? Yeah, so the promise of Open RAN is that uh, the solutions are available, uh, you know, in where, where uh, operators can have a flexibility of, of um, uh, you know, virtualized solution as well as the, as well as the overall feature parity and so on. So of course we are partnering with Nokia um, th through their uh, AnyRAN program to bring that solution, but we are also enabling together a broader ecosystem as well. Um, as I said uh, earlier, we, we partner with uh, with Dell, uh, and then of course Nokia also partner with Dell and HP and then IBM, so we are working with all OEM. Um, in addition, we are working with software partners. So uh, in this uh, show, we announced partnership with Wind River, with Red Hat, with VMware to bring their platform uh, solution for the server on the server side for this solution, right? Um, and then of course, uh, for the broader overall ecosystem, we also announced a partnership with ADI. Ari, any comments? It does say it, any, it is any RAM. Yeah, I mean, so, the, you know. the answer was so perfect. I, I really don't <laughs> want to add too much uh, on the any RAM side of things there. I mean, exactly. We, we built the partnerships, we create the openness with the partnerships. Uh, and that's all about the anyrun. Uh, yeah. But then uh, Oran is a little bit bigger than that, so it also has the new elements like the yeah. run intelligent controller, opening the front hall. We work with uh, our customers like Docomo on, right. on that front as well. But anyrun really is now opening it to the broader ecosystem of the players yeah. we discussed. So, Gabe, this next question is for you. I mean, one of the promises about Open RAN is there would be more players, more OEMs, more ODMs, really driven by governments, I think, 
Um, what what is that is that actually happening? It, it expecting to happen more. So. Um, I would say we will see more and more activity in the side because it's, it's more of a long term play. So of course, while industry has focus on we want to get this thing done. Yeah. But keep in mind these, especially on the software side, it takes a long time to develop yes. all the features which is needed for us to, for easy, for us it's easy to pick up the phone and make a call, but right. but uh, Ari can explain you what all goes behind the scene to make it happen. So, so having a stable software will take time, but in the meantime, you will see more and more activities, more OEMs and ODM will bring, you know, hardware solution and then you'll see uh, so, uh, solutions coming from OEMs like Nokia and others to, to drive yeah. this. In my mind, it's going to take uh, some time. Every, everybody wants things to be done overnight, but it, any technology transition takes a long time, especially in the carrier network. Sector. Sure. So I'm staring down the hall and, and I'm looking at Google. And, and, <laughs> and so, you know, we're here at MWC and you think mobile world, what's Google doing here? Google Cloud, right? Google. But, Obviously, we keep hearing more and more about the big public cloud companies and then the, you know, the technology pr providers that are helping build on public cloud backbones. How is 5G and public cloud sort of, what's the tie up there? Because we're hearing more about it, Ari. It's very much around the VCU. So the Eniron has two components, the VDU and the VCU. And the VCU being not so delay critical, we can have it on the edge cloud data uh, servers as the Google Cloud, for instance. VDU, we need to have it closer to the radio, maximum 10 kilometers away from the radio. Yeah. Doesn't really work with the edge cloud data centers of these guys. Then we typically put that one on the base station side. But the VCU, we can put it in the Google Cloud. So at the application level, of course, Ari explain you what is at the <laughs> hardware level, but right. if you abstract it out, these cloud have to expand into what is called edge cloud and get as close to the end end use application, right? So that cannot happen only by the wired network. So it, it, the five G and then of course going into six G, the huge part of the networking has to be wireless network. So now cloud guys, their focus is to provide application services to their end customers. And without having ability to uh, to expand into the wireless network, they cannot provide that service. That's right. And that is why they are very much motivated to have this capability. Now, of course, their business is not to sell, um, you know, the mobile network. In other words, they will not replace the cellular phone companies. Their their target is to have the platform where they can offer the services on top of that platform. That's why they will partner mainly with the with the OEMs and other service providers like Nokia and others to have that capability and then provide solution on top of that. Yeah, it is an interesting model when you have. Uh, and I got pre-briefed by the big North American cloud folks. And they were all talking about exactly that. Uh, they see the opportunity there, but also I think we've arrived at a place where uh, there's value from cloud, there's value from companies like Nokia, and of course, Marvell. All three companies can can win. And it took us a couple of years, it took us probably a decade to get here, mm -hmm. right? Oh, wow. yeah. uh, uh, where, you know, there were these wild ideas of you know certain companies taking over certain spots, but I think we've arrived at who does what best, and mm. and people are finally doing that. Gentlemen, I really want to thank you for coming on the show. I'll probably sit here another 25 minutes, do that, but you know, you guys have meetings and uh, customers to talk to. But I really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you My for having yeah. thank you We so did much. talk about AWS Marvell tie-up on our show just this week, didn't I we? Know, I yeah, know. I know. Sure did. Exactly. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining us here in the Marvell booth at MWC 2023 in Barcelona. For Patrick Moorhead, for myself, we really appreciate you tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Check out all the videos that we're going to do here on the show floor, in the booth, on the road, and of course, all of our other shows. I promise you they're worth watching. But for this one, it's time to say goodbye. Have a great show, everyone. We'll see you later. <laughs>